Hi, it's Maxine Kay with the Greater Philadelphia Center for Spiritual Living with a love note. Yes, I'm wearing a Phillies jersey, Bryce Harper, number three. It's not that I've attended so many games. I'd love to go to more. We just haven't too much, but we'd love to root for the home team. And uh, thinking about baseball and thinking about today being Juneteenth, we're looking at sometimes how long it seems to take for human consciousness to evolve into a greater awareness of fairness and justice and inclusion. Uh, Jackie Robinson, everybody knows about Jackie Robinson, and we have believed for years that he broke the color barrier for the uh, Major League, League Baseball in 1947. Uh, as a Brooklyn Dodger, he came out onto the field in that year, and uh, I have always believed that that it was he who broke the color barrier. And yet, I just found out something else. There was a gentleman by the name of Moses Fleetwood Walker, who played for the Toledo Blue Stockings in 1884, an African American man who was actually the first to break the color barrier um, 77 years prior to Jackie Robinson and the American um, team or league that he was with at the time is now is now called uh, the American League. It was um, the American Association or something like that. So isn't it interesting, the things that we find out years later that we never knew, Juneteenth, for instance. And isn't it wonderful that it is now a national holiday because we are acknowledging, respecting, appreciating, and celebrating freedom, even when it is sometimes very late in coming. And you know, it was two and a half years after the Emancip uh, Emancipation Declaration had been signed by uh, Abraham Lincoln that a group of soldiers rode into Galveston, Texas, two and a half years later, to let the enslaved people there know that they had been free for two and a half years, and no one had told them. And that was on the 19th of June of that year. And that's why we celebrate the eventual freedom, the eventual justice that takes place sometimes far too long from when we know it should have. But we do celebrate. We celebrate the freedom. We celebrate the growing awareness in consciousness of humankind that all men and women are created equal, that there is every reason to feel respect and appreciation for one another and to experience our innate freedom. That's my message for today. It's my message for every day. So please know how loved and appreciated you are, and we'll see you very soon. God bless.